In this short video, we'll be taking a look at uh, the other side of function notation, where instead of knowing the input value, you actually know the output value, and you have to do some calculations or some work to find the input value. So in this particular function, um, f of x, we know that the output has to be 3. The function that we're working with is f of x equals 2x minus 7. So what number would have to go into this function to have it come out to be 3. So we're not putting an input in, we're trying to figure out the input. So in this particular case, we want to know when is this function, when is it worth, or the value of the function, 3. So I s set this side equal to 3, equaling the function. Now I could solve this using the, the steps from you know any linear algebra type of a situation. So here I've got minus 7, so I'm going to add 7 to both sides, and I get 10 equals 2x, divide by 2, and x equals 5. So what that means is, is that when this function get, has an output of 3, you have to put in the input of 5. So the way that is, the conclusion would then be f of 5 equals 3. The original question that we were working on was back up here, which looked like this. When is the function equal to 3? So you take that whole equation or function, set it equal to 3, solve, and you're saying that the input of 5 gives us an output of 3. Now we could check that. We could check that by putting the number that we found now, which is the 5, back into the original equation through standard function substitution. And by doing so, 2 times 5 is 10, minus 7 is 3, so f of 5 equals 3. And that would answer a question when the outputs are given and not the inputs. Uh, so hopefully you'll be able to solve equations that look like this.